as people in our society today, it's kind of cool that we can kind of do whatever we want. We can change the rules however we see fit. I mean, think about it. We got breakfast over here at one time and lunch over here at another time. But then right in the middle, we have brunch, which we just magically made up. Should it be the same for our cocktails? I mean, what if it's too late for that cup of coffee? <sighs> or it's just a little bit too early for that mango martini. So for the cocktail I'm bringing you today, we're gonna get the best of both worlds, which is gonna be a honeyed coffee Collins, or what I'm gonna call a honey bear. Let's do it. Now the nice part about this drink is that we can do everything straight into the glass, so we don't need any shakers whatsoever on this one. That's right, no shakers need. Mm-hmm, <laughs> like I said, no shakers needed. And because we don't need a, ah! Why? No! I said we didn't need a shaker. Where where are these coming from? And with no more pesky shakers. Ah! No! I think they're all gone. Okay. Alright, now. Geez, we can finally get to the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and make this drink. We're gonna make it straight into our Collins glass. It's going to be absolutely delicious. A mix between your breakfast and your lunch. Let's make this drink. Now with all cocktails, everything is up for interpretation. So I went ahead and adjusted some of the measurements on this to what I thought would be the best tasting cocktail for me. So first what we're gonna do with this one is give this honey bear one ounce of gin. Next, a big, big shout out is needed here for Carl and Riley from Alchemix Bar. They brought me a bottle of Mr. Black coffee liqueur. I cannot thank them enough. I cannot get this in Iowa in my area or at all in Iowa, I don't believe. They were so kind to bring me a bottle and I, oh, I love it. I cannot appreciate it enough, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and add this into our mixture here with one and a half ounce of Mr. Black. Ooh, just a little spillage. <laughs> Next, you can go two different ways with this one. You can go with just regular honey, or in this case, I'm going with honey syrup. I was just afraid that with the ice and just going straight into the glass, it wasn't gonna mix up properly. So I went ahead and just added, this is two parts honey, one part water, and I just went ahead and made my own honey syrup, and we're just gonna go with half an ounce of this to sweeten it up a little bit. Right into the glass, amazing. Now what we're gonna do is just take our bar spoon here, we're just gonna give her a nice little mix to incorporate some of those ingredients together. Just like so. One of my favorite things to do when making a drink is crushed ice. I freaking love playing with crushed ice, making crushed ice, using it in my cocktails. It's just one of the more favorite things to do. It's like a toy for cocktail makers. So we're, going, we're just gonna dump crushed ice straight into the glass. And almost all the way to the top. Nice and full. Next, go ahead and get your club soda, tonic water, or whatever you're feeling in the mood for. Um, I got my Schweppes here, club soda. I've been buying the bottles. The first time I got the cans, I get the bottles. The bottles last you like three days after you open them up, so I'm, I'm done with them. I'm sick of them because I can't use them up fast enough, so I'm going with the little guys today. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy up to the top. Oh, it's a nice crisp sound all the way up. Perfect. And then what we're gonna do is just top it off with a little more crushed ice. Last thing we gotta do is give this a little bit of a citrus twist. So if, go ahead and find an orange, clementine, whichever you prefer. Um, go ahead and cut yourself off a nice little wedge here. That's a pretty sexy wedge if I do say so myself. Look at that, nice. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just give it a nice squirt over the top. Kind of let those juices sink in. Yeah. And then for my garnish, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of plop that over the top like so. I like it. I freaking love it. And there we have our honey bear. Let's go ahead, get our nice little straw here, drop it in. Let's give her a sip. <laughs> So when you guys weren't looking, I went ahead and stirred this up a little bit because a lot of the ingredients are at the bottom, so I kind of try to incorporate some more of that tonic water with everything. Um, as you can imagine, that coffee liqueur, that Mr. Black, that is the 
that's the star of this drink. You know, it's a nice coffee forward drink, but it's off with that honey. That honey gives it just a perfect amount of like, just a, of sweetness. And I, I don't really get much of the gin coming forward, um, to be completely honest. And then just over the top, you can smell the orange, which is really, really nice on the nose. So this is a great brunch drink. I freaking love this. It's such a pretty kind of layered um, looking cocktail here, but please give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. Next time you guys are out for brunch, be like, hey, can I get the honey bear? They're gonna be like, I don't know what that is. And show them this video because I, it, it needed a better name than the honeyed coffee call, co the honey coffee call. See, I can't even say it correctly. So I'm calling it the honey bear until somebody else tells me what the actual name is or until we can come up with a better name. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys had the time to subscribe. I hope you guys like this video and go ahead and comment away as much as you want. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.